You come from above. Like him. He will burn the world to find you. Who? The Conqueror. Kang the Conqueror is the new iconic villain in the MCU. We knew we wanted to go to places that we'd never been. And pitting Ant-Man against a major villain felt perfect. Audiences have seen a version of this character in the series Loki. This is wild. In our film, he's very different. Kang is an infinite number of different personas. And you need an actor to be able to pull that off. And that is Jonathan Majors. I can rewrite existence and shatter timelines. Yeah. In this film, this is really a side of him we haven't seen. This is his baddest self. I will take my revenge on those who banished me. And I will burn them out of time. Yeah. I think the film is ultimately about how time plays within our relationship. Love, friendship, legacy, Ant-Man versus Kane. This is it. People are gonna lose their mind. You're out of your league, Ant-Man. We always love doing the unexpected with Scott Lang. Ant-Man is arguably the character that is the most underestimated. Ant-Man became the key to saving the universe in Avengers Endgame. So carrying that tradition, we thought, well, let's use this film to kick off phase five. It's been almost a decade now that I've been playing this part. I've loved it and I feel protective of Scott Lang and Ant-Man. It's really nice coming back. I still kind of can't believe that I'm sitting there and it's like, wow, there's Michelle Pfeiffer and there's Michael Douglas. I just saved eight bucks. God, I admire you. It's really nice not to get used to working with legends. You're sending a signal down to the quantum realm. It's a secret universe beneath ours. Janet has been very quiet about her time in the quantum realm. Maybe would have you know, made different choices. <laughs> There's someone I never told you about. This place isn't what you think. Kang, the Conqueror, is terrifying. And if there ever was a maniac loose in the quantum realm, it's him. Playing Kang, the Conqueror, is such a gift. Your reality. Everything you're holding on to, I know how it ends. This is the beginning, and he cannot be contained. Something like this, which is so transportive and visually striking, people should really see it in a movie theater. You want it to be as big and as visceral and consuming as possible. Audiences are going to watch this and go, I can't believe this is happening. It's going to be bonkers. It's like we're camping. We've never been camping. But we've always talked about it.